Hi friends, welcome to BHK Electrical Concept. So in this video, I am going to give you the most important condition which is available in some of the uh, electrical circuit problems. Okay. So for example, I will consider that uh, condition in one circuit. For example, I am going to consider one circuit like this. You can see. So this type of model is very, very important while we are solving the electrical circuits. And uh, if you know the concept properly, then only you can easily solve this type of problems okay so now you can see so here r1 is equal to for example i am considering the value of 10 ohms and here r2 is equal to for example 20 ohms for example applied voltage just i am considering 10 volts okay so here question is just find find I suffix t. I suffix t means simply total current. Okay. So find total current in the given circuit. So this is the important, uh, this is the important type of uh, model. So it's very important. Now you can see, you already know that series and parallel combination of resistances. It means that what, for example, whenever two resistances are connected in series like this, if you want to find the total equivalent resistance, total equivalent resistance we can directly add the values of what for example this is 1 ohm for example this is 2 ohms so if you want to find the equivalent resistance for the series combination of r1 and r2 you can directly find by adding these two values directly so that we are getting the value of 3 ohms for the series combination of these two resistances for example if you have the parallel combination like this for example we have two resistances and these two resistances for example connected in parallel like this for example this is one ohm and this is also for example one ohm so if you want to get the equivalent resistance for the parallel combination of two resistances then you can directly use the formula equivalent resistance is equal to product of these two resistances divided by addition of these two resistances when it is possible if two resistances are connected in parallel only so that 1 into 1 divided by 1 plus 1 so that you will get 1 divided by 2 so that you are getting so 0 0.5 ohms so like this we can easily find the equivalent resistance for the series combination of resistances as well as parallel combination of resistances so whenever the circuit consisting of series and parallel combinations like this you can easily find the equivalent resistance and after finding the equivalent resistance then you can we can directly use i is equal to v divided by r equivalent formula to get the value of total current flowing in the circuit okay this 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 type of problem is very simple but the condition is here r2 resistance and this branch here r2 resistance and uh, this particular branch both are connected in parallel but this branch do not have the value of resistance so that how we are going to finding the value of current for the given circuit if the circuit if the circuit consisting of these two branches connected in parallel okay so that is the reason why i am telling you this is the most important type of problem to find the solutions okay so now coming to the actual concept so how we are going to finding the equivalent resistance for the parallel combination of resistance branch which is exactly connected in parallel with the short circuit branch okay so in that case we can directly find like this okay so we can easily find that for example i am considering only the parallel combination of parallel combination like this okay now see this is r1 and this is the short circuit branch okay so whenever the resistance and uh, short circuit branch both are connected like this so you can easily identify that short circuit means the value of r is equal to 0 ohms okay so short circuit branch always consisting of the value of resistance as 0 so that whenever the value of whenever the value of resistance is zero so that in that case current will always choose low resistance path so that whenever the branch do not have the value of resistance so in that particular branch most of the most of means maximum value of current will flows so that we can easily understand whenever 
we are going to apply some voltage across this particular parallel combination of resistance branch exactly connected in parallel with the short circuit branch. For example, if I am applying some 5 volts, definitely some amount of current will flows like this and this current is reaches this particular junction point. So whenever this current is reaches this junction point, this current tries to, okay, this current is try to flow in individual branches like this. What? Depending upon the value of resistance. But you can observe that in the short circuit branch, you do not have the value of resistance so that current will always choose the low resistance branch and current will always flows maximum current will flows in short circuit branch so that whatever the value of current which is enter into this particular junction point that total current will flows through the short circuit branch like this okay so no current will flows through the branch which is consisting of some resistance like R1. Okay, so in that case, this particular R1 branch will act as a open path because, because R is equal to 0 ohms means current I is equal to V divided by R so that V divided by 0 means infinity amount of current will flows. For example, if the value of R is not equal to 0 ohms, so that I is equal to V divided by, so not equal to, not equal value, it means 0, 0 ohms is not there. We are considering some value of resistance because not equal to 0. So that definitely this value of current is not equal to infinity as well as not equal to 0 also. Okay. Now, for example, whenever the value of resistance is infinity ohms, so that I is equal to V divided by infinity. So that V divided by infinity means what? Something divided by infinity means you will get 0. Okay. So based on these three conditions, the circuit will change. Okay. You can observe that short circuit branch do not have the value of resistance means R is equal to 0 only. Na? R is equal to 0 means current is infinity. So that whenever the two branches are connected in parallel and in that, one branch consisting of short circuit, it means R is equal to 0. So directly we can say that total amount of current will flows through the short circuit branch like this. So in that case, the branch which is connect, which is consisting of resistance will act as a open branch so that we can directly open that particular branch across the short circuit branch so that R equivalent is equal to 0 ohms when the resistance is exactly connected in parallel with the short circuit branch okay so now you can see that i think now you are clear because if you know these three conditions properly you can easily uh, solve the problem okay any problem you can easily solve with the help of these three conditions now the question is what now the question is finding the value of total current okay so we already considered the circuit we are already considered the circuit like this so we can we can directly say that so actually the value of resistance already we have taken that is r1 is equal to 10 r2 is equal to 20 and this is the short circuit and uh, we already considered 10 volts okay now question is finding the value of total current only now so total current means we already know that for the parallel combination of these two, the equivalent resistance is equal to zero, zero. So that we can rearrange this circuit by replacing like this. So this is opened. This is opened means this resistance, uh, this short circuit branch is all, all, always same. So whenever we are opening this particular R2 branch means now the circuit consisting of only one resistance okay so now it is equal to i is equal to v divided by r means total current is equal to total applied voltage divided by total equivalent resistance so circuit consisting of only one resistance after after open open circuiting the r2 because connected across the short circuit so that directly we can say that v divided by r1 so it is equal to 10 divided by 10 so that 1 ampere is the current which is flowing in the above circuit if the circuit consisting of parallel combination 
and that parallel combination consisting of short circuit branch like this okay so you have to remember the most important key points those are whenever the resistance is zero in any branch in that branch maximum current will flows and whenever the uh, value of resistance is equal to infinity in that branch current cannot flows so we can directly consider that particular r in r is equal to infinity condition as open branch okay so whenever the value of resistance is not equal to infinity as well as not equal to zero so that definitely some amount of current will flows through that particular branch so thank you so much for watching and please do subscribe my channel for more updates thank you